we are going to complete this t-shirt pattern making. We are going to draft the sleeve and neck band. And I'll show you the necessary notches and how much seam allowance you need for stretch knit fabric. Hi, I'm Jean. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. This channel is all about pattern making. We are making t-shirt patterns. In the last video, we drafted the back body and front body. If you haven't watched it yet, watch that video first, episode 66, and come back to this video. So for today, we're going to draft the sleeve and the rib for the neckline. And we'll finish with notches and seam allowances. Okay, these are the patterns that we drafted last time. To draft the sleeve, we need to measure the front armor length and back armor length from the body patterns. To draft a sleeve, draw a vertical line and horizontal line. For the sleeve cap height, calculate your total armor length divided it by 4 plus half of an inch and draw a horizontal line. If you make a loose fit shirt, like a box style of shirt, you might want to have a lower sleeve cap height so you can have a wider bicep. But for this example, I'm making a pretty tight sleeve so my sleeve cap height is kind of high. Watch one of my videos, episode 41, if you haven't watched it yet. I've explained the relationship between sleeve cap height and bicep. For any kind of sleeve drafting, you need to understand that first. I'm going to put the link in the description box. How much is appropriate for sleeve cap height? It's not an easy question to answer. So I made a chart of armor depth and sleeve cap height for all different designs of garment. Go to patternstudio101.com and download it. It's free. The measurement in the chart are the one I'm using for mass production, ready to wear clothing. Of course, we always adjust with the fitting process, but it's pretty much close. So you can use those measurements as a reference for your drafting. Go to patternstudio101.com and download it. Okay, let's draw a sleeve cap. From the shorter point, measure the back armor length minus 3 eighths of an inch. Place the end of the ruler at the shorter point and swing the ruler until it hits the bicep line. The same way, this length is the front armor length minus 3 eighths of an inch. Place the end of the ruler at the shoulder point and swing the ruler until it hits the bicep line. I take out 3 eighths of an inch on each side front and back because I don't want to have any ease on the sleeve cap. For the front sleeve, Divide it by 3 and go up half of an inch. And draw a sleeve cap curve to pass this point. For the back, divide it by 3, same, but go down half of an inch at this time. And draw a curve to pass this lower point. From the shoulder point, measure the front armor length and the back armor length along the curved line. Make sure the sleeve armor length is the same as the body armor length. If you watched the video episode 4, 11, and 42, you will notice I draw sleeve cap curves all in different ways. I always say there is no perfect formula for everyone or every design or fabric. Try this and that and find the one that works the best. 
Measure the sleeve length from the shoulder point and draw a hemline. Because it's a very short sleeve, you can make the uh, sleeve side seam just straight. Or take out a little bit, like quarter of an inch on each side. The sleeve is done in orange. Make notches on the sleeve cap and the body armor. Each of these lengths should be the same. Okay, let's make a rib pattern for the neckline. I'm going to make a 5 eighths of an inch width rib. Draw a line 5 eighths of an inch distance along the neckline, both front and back. So the body neckline will be here. Because it's a V neck, trace this center front shape and extend a straight line. Measure the front neck length, not the new body neck line, but the finished line for the rib. And mark on the rib. Those are the same length. Because this line will be uh, a fold line, you should make a notch here on this line. And measure the back neck length and copy to the rib. Same, the finish line. So these two lengths are the same. Center back will be folded. Make a notch for the center back. Most of the time, the edge of the rib is a fold line as well. So your neck rib is going to be like this. You see this gray line? It was an old neckline, and now the front and back have a new neckline. And the rib is uh, way shorter than the body neckline, so when you stitch up, you are going to stretch the rib. For the t-shirts, we need only quarter of an inch seam allowance for serging all the way around, except for the hem, body hem and sleeve hem. So for the body hem and sleeve hem, you can add 3 quarters of an inch or 1 inch uh, seam allowance to fold up. Here are the patterns, back, front, sleeve, and neck band. You know practice makes perfect. Try it and let me know if you have any questions. Go to patternstudio101.com, download the armor depth chart. It's free. Use them as a reference when you make patterns. Please click like button and share this video if you know anyone who is learning pattern making. This channel is totally dedicated for young professionals to take their pattern making skills to the next level. Have a wonderful week. See you next time.